Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Honey Bee Farmstead. I'm Mel. I'm Alex. <laughs> and this video is about our meat room. So when we purchased this property, it had a cool room and the makings of a meat room. So we decided, seeing as we're going to be processing all of our own uh, meat here, hopefully, uh, we've already been doing a little bit of it, but um, we we wanted to finish the meat room, and that meant for us a lot more sort of a hygienic setup. Hey. Yeah, something a bit more permanent. Yeah. That, that's not just a table in the in the shed. Yeah. So uh, I had a stainless steel bench that I scored from a uh, like a restaurant closed down and they Ooh. sort of pulled everything out and I got it sort of really cheap off marketplace which was excellent and as luck would have it fits perfectly in the spot in the meat room that we need it. Uh, Alex has also scavenged up what like doors and ah uh, yeah so like yeah metal doors um, yeah. and basically went through and and put insulation through and put all the gyp rock in and finished it up we even resin the floor so it's easy to clean so I do have little, I don't know what I'm going to make of this video because um, I was at work and my dear darling here knows nothing about making YouTube and how it has to be cohesive and all that. So I'm going to try and make of it uh, something interesting to watch for you guys. But we'll do um, a little tour and sort of explain the process and what we've used and, and kind of a, a, do we have a cost? Could, we could work out how oh, much we'll it's cost costs. us to do yeah. it. Um, Alex has got the measurements of the size of the room, just in case you want to do something like that. Um, it's really quite handy. The room itself was already built there when we bought, so that was that was really handy. We already had yeah had the, the frame. Yeah. the frame was built, and then um, we just finished it off. And we have a, a lovely friend who looked out for an old um, what do you call them? Window rattler or whatever. Oh yeah, yeah. The, the, the old, rattler, the the old school aircon, just to keep it a bit cool and blow some sort of cool um, air in there. We already have a, a cool room, which we'll show you guys. And um, yeah, so come along with us, and I hope you enjoy this. And any questions you might have, please put it in the comments below. Um, like it if you like the video, share it with your friends, and subscribe if you haven't already. Let's go. We're going up to check out the meat room and these little meaty chickens are running around foraging. What's this for? Huh? Uh, this is all going on top of the mezzanine. Take That's off all those old doors and actually shoot it properly. We've got the leftover insulation to put in there. That'll all get done today. And, and then start getting all this stuff back in and put up everything that we're not going to use immediately hey yeah. or like yeah. canning jars and things like that all right give us the tour all right so i've already got some dirty marks from walking yeah. in there but as you see uh is that my kirby no wonder the kids can't back in the house yeah i used it last night wow okay so I'm gonna take my shoes off and walk in there. Can I, is it dry? Yeah. Guys, how snazzy does that look? So, you might, the volume might be a bit echoey here. Uh, we went with a nice calm blue. Uh, I'll try and insert before and after pictures in here as well, because this room looks completely different to what it used to. Here's the cool room. It's not on at the moment and there's all this all our stuff being stored until we can put it all back together it's quite a decent cool room it will hang a few beasts in here um, and okay so there's the old aircon unit it's actually not too bad it blows nice air yeah once you get the all closed in here Eventually, the where well, everything's coming up here today. The dehydrator, the mixer, everything. I have a hot kettle in here, so we've got hot water, and basically I'll pump up water into here, 
and this will be a nice place to go in summer. It looks uh, really good. As you see the resin, I've done the resin last night and it's actually really quite easy to do. It's why we decided on the blue. We also had it left over from the other house, but it's a nice calming feeling well, and, and, it's bright too, and cool. But also, we had this beautiful blue marble look with the resin. How good does that look, guys? Now, all we have to do is do a bead of nice silicate around there to waterproof it, and just a few little touch-up tidy-ups. Pop this over, and then, yeah, I'm just gonna put a little box in the there that the exhaust, so the, the exhaust goes out and sucks the clean in there, there from here, and then we've got some, Yeah, the fly, magnetic fly strip. Magnetic fly strip, and then I've got this to lock the door. My gun safe will come back in here, and everything will be in here that we need to get. Yeah, nice proof. Yeah. It's gonna look great. So we'll we'll come back when Alex has put it all back together, and we'll we'll show you the final setup. Oh, what are you doing here? Yeah, a hydro smart shed. Ooh, that looks a bit fancy pants. Yeah. So just Do you want to explain to me how you did it? I don't step on this, obviously. Yeah, you can. It's oh, are you sure? Yeah, you're right. Wow. Just a quick little cemented floor. Yeah. Then, um... Is there no more of this? Yeah, there is. Yep. I'm just going to finish the off the backs once I've put in the Hydro Smart. And so, why did you put the wood around the tin? Oh, just to secure the bottom frame because all the shed was rusted. And also, too, I don't want the concrete touching the tin. Why is that? Because it just eats all that. Okay, um, it, it creates the rust. Oh, it just grows. Yeah, it's corrosive, so. Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah. Well, that looks really good. Free, free shed off. Um, Facebook Marketplace. That's it. Didn't cost us anything except fuel and a little bit of our hard work. Thanks, you guys, Brocco. thanks, Brocco. Exactly. We say that a lot in our video. Um, bit of bricky cement from from work. This is our um, bore tank. Bore tank. So he's got all the fittings so to so plumb it into the yeah. shed. So they cut a hole in here. Yep. We'll so we're nice and neatly. All right, do you want to tell us how it works, as in how, what you're setting up? So basically, when we pump from the, if the tank's empty, and we pump from our bore. Yep. It's going to go through the system. The hydro. I don't know how that works. Mel's going to find out a bit more about that. And then basically, it'll fill it up. Now the once it's uh, what we what we call it activated, um, yeah, charged, charged or activated. Um, it's right for a good 14 days. So, and then, you know, because it's gone through and filled the tank up, as we use it and empty it, it actually gets a double dose as it comes out. It gets hydro smarted again yeah. on the way out. And what does that mean with the bore water? So what does it mean we then have the access well, to do? Well, because we've got a fair bit of salt, not too many minerals in it, but a lot of salt, um, we can actually run it through the house. So, so we're gonna hook the house up and it shouldn't, well, in theory, if it works, it won't eat out the um, the tap fittings and the the hot water system. Yeah, and the you know like washing machine and all that. Yeah, so, um, according to the Hydro Smart guy, do you remember his name? I can't remember his no, name, remember but I'll I'll insert it in the video anyway, and I'll definitely share links to it. What he's talking about? Well, listen, there, there's a lot of systems set up around Australia. They've been, I think, active or or in business for twenty odd years. More than twenty years. Yeah. So. So I will share links below this video uh, where you can get access to the Hydro Smart and all the information you need from Hydro Smart yeah. and whether it applies to you and a whole heap of um, testimonials. So I know that they were compelling enough for us to grab and use a Hydro Smart. Um, it will mean that bore water that we previously couldn't use on our gardens and um, we can use for stock but it wasn't the best. Now yeah. when we use this it'll be great for stock and it will actually mean that they they absorb all their nutrient from their food and all that sort of stuff. I know I did read that. They yeah. come up in way better condition and they need less water because they don't have as high a salt content. Um, that's something I definitely read. 
Um, and the other thing is we can use it on the garden. So that changes the application of our bore water yeah. drastically. Yeah. So, so we're running, like here, we're running around about 2,000 parts per million. And they've done, they done cases or studies over in New Zealand where they've, where the bore water was 6,000 6, parts per million and they were growing lettuces. Yeah, right. And lettuce is quite a touchy one oh, when it comes absolutely. to water. So, lettuce. Well, no, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it all, all pans out and we'll do a big clean up here. And, or... So, our we'll bore. The, the, the plumbing. I'm going to put a solar system on top here. Yes, that's what I was going to ask. Um, then we've got some battery banks. Um, that we're going to bank up and basically it'll be self-sufficient. So the batteries will are to run the pump that is going to pump it. So previously... No, no, no so it's to run the system. Yep, but I thought you were going to pressure pump it. No, no, that's down the house. Oh, so we're going to plug that in yeah, down the house. Yeah, okay, so basically cool. the system up here is basically to run the hydro smart. Right, okay. So, and because it uses bugger all power, what we're doing is just going from a 12 volt system into a 240 um, converter and then we're good to go. Yep, so, okay. Yeah. Awesome. Um, I think it's a really, from everything I read, and I'm gonna be honest, I didn't read everything. There was so much information there. There's a lot of technical stuff there too. Lots of technical stuff that I don't understand. It's kind of like engineer's degree kind of thing. Um, and that's not my the strong main thing with this, is to make sure um, that we get it all done and we get it done right the first time so we don't have to worry about it um, So this is obviously overkill because the hydro smarts actually not very big. Nah, it came so posted down to that back wall But you know lots of storage and stuff we can never do um, But also then no storage, but yeah, it's good sealed floor top out of the weather We might be able to actually work out a way to fill up our firefighting unit from this area from this tank in a hurry. Yeah, absolutely. That would be a good idea, wouldn't it? Absolutely. So we we are thinking of other applications to make this area the most useful space that we can. Um, yeah. And we're going to do other, like, we got. I want to do the same setup down the bore. So we'll have the bore in the middle and the pump. Yep. Do the same thing there. And then a generator shed for where the power is. So and we'll so solar. Yeah. Yep. Put our generators and stuff in. Yeah, we're trying to go as much solar as we can. Completely would be great, but we're just going to work on it in baby steps yeah. and do the best we can. That's it. So I'll check back in in a couple of days when you're. Will you take the camera up for us? Well, we'll do. A few, yeah, like I'll, I'll, I'll install it this afternoon. Okay. So we can do little snips of that. And, okay. Um, and then, yeah, go from there. So I'll give you the camera. I'll change the configuration into more of a. That kind of setup. We can do a little hole. Alrighty, with a bit of persuasion. There we go guys. Alrighty, now to the inside. Alrighty, so we're just cutting some holes so our poly pipe can get through. One there and one there. I'll just dress them up so it looks prettier. Alright, we're back. Let's see how this little modification went. <coughs> Alex is not that big of a talker, so I'll let you guys know what's been going on in this picture. On the right hand side there, the red and white thing is the Hydro Smart. So what he's doing is connecting up the pipe that he's got in his hand now to the Hydro Smart. And then the pipe that you can see on your right hand side, uh, that will connect up too. Because essentially, we want to charge the water going in from the bore, so it gets pumped up from the bore. We want to charge it or hydro smart it with hydrostatic energy when it comes into the hydro smart, but we also want to charge it when it leaves the bore tank and comes down towards all our troughs and our garden hoses and things like that. So right now, I just want to say, can you stop being a weirdo? I don't, that's not what I wanted to say. What I wanted to <laughs> no, say no, was, okay, start again. how amazing you are. Two weeks off, dedicates it to the betterment of our property and 
We want to show you guys finished product. You've got to see this. Ready? Ready? No one's opening the door, babe. What's happening? Oh, it's locked. I like it even better. Dun, dun, that that table's got to go. Okay, here we are. I'm going to go backwards. Here we go. So, this is it. And guys, see how incredible that shelving unit fits into this room. It's exactly what. Uh oh, we're locked in. It's exactly what we were talking about. It's perfect. It's going to fit the bill absolutely perfectly. Oh my gosh. And then, so, the here. The jerky maker? The jerky maker. It's called a dehydrator, my love. But I get why you say that, because that's all we ever make with it. Jerky. Is jerky. Can we make pig jerky? Can we make what? The pig, a pig jerky. Pig jerky? I don't know. We'll have to ask our viewers. So we need to know all the jerky recipes. Can you make we know we can make roux jerky and we know we can make beef jerky clearly what are all the types of meat you can use for jerky have you ever done chicken jerky turkey jerky <laughs> turkey jerky what do you guys reckon so that's it complete perfect flooring easy to clean yeah. It's also a nice cool room, it's so he... How did you do it? Hang Why on. are you wearing boots in here? Because... Because what? Because he made it, that's why it's kind of... No, Dad made it. Dad and me. Okay, well thanks for helping, Jackson, you're a legend. So how did you do this, Jackson? We painted some, and then we sprinkled it. But what about the pouring of the second lot? Because it's resin flooring, it's yeah. two parts. Resin and paint. Yes, very good. So, has Dad put his guns back in the safe? Um, yes, it's locked. Okay. I don't even know. Okay. Is it drilled to the ground? Yes. Yes, so it's Wait, all... Uh, is the gun drilled to the ground? Yes. Yep, awesome. Can you open that door so we can see? Okay. So the meat comes out of there after hanging There's straight the here. Gets processed here. There's going to be a big bin under this hole um, so that we can throw all the off cuts and scraps into the bin. Um, yeah, that's it. That looks so dangerous. It is very dangerous. We're very careful when we use it. Yep, awesome. Good job, babe. Thank you. You did such a great job. Are you proud of yourself? Oh, yeah. Let's, let's see that action and we'll go from there. A bit of. This is for me. What is that? This is salt. Salt for curing? curing that could salt. probably go on the bottom shelf. Um, Thank you, honey. Yeah, so there's still a bit more to go, but... So, what do you guys think? Is this the, not the coolest meat processing room that you've ever seen? Oh, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's just a little room. And do you want to see videos of processing animals and how it works from beginning to end and all that sort of stuff please let us know obviously you know we're gonna fire up the jerky machine so that's what they called it it's called a dehydrator but yes <laughs> everyone in my family calls it the jerky machine i dehydrate chilies in there as well so we want to know if you guys want to see processing of animals and can i have this that goes in here <laughs> No, it's still, it, it goes it's still here. It's still about Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, Daddy can have it. Daddy can have it. Don't ask, don't get. Yeah. <laughs> um, we're a new YouTube channel, so we do want to take our cues from you guys. If you just love seeing the cutesy and the padding and the playing and the milking and all that sort of stuff, let us know. If you don't want to see the meat stuff, Fair enough, but if you do, comment below and we'll maybe even put a little disclaimer at the start of it for any of you that don't want to see it. So please comment below, give us a big like for all the hard work Alex has put into this awesome room um, and share and subscribe. So as promised, 
we are going to give you a few little details about our hydro smart system and why we decided to go with this system and uh, you know why we need it. So Alex is here because he did the technical stuff. Didn't you? <laughs> I mean, the evidence is on the tiny bits of footage that we captured. That's right. Yeah. Um, so this is the hydro smart. Yeah. It's pretty much this here. Now it's so small. It's, yeah. So it's by a company in uh, South Australia. South Australia has uh, been in business. Twenty odd years. Over twenty years. Yeah. Um, a lot of people. So basically, how we come about was our ball was our our board water here. We tested it. It's about. 2,300 parts per million um, salt, which means it's it's bearable for stock, but it's not ideal for growing and all that stuff. So instead of and not great for dairy, yeah, yeah um, instead of investing money into sinking sinking another ball, um, we thought we'd have a look around and see what technologies out there. I originally started looking at filters, um, but yeah, there was this company uh, Hydro Smart. So basically, I, I'm I'm not too crash hot on the full on goings of what this does, but basically, as you can see here, these are hydrostatic coils. Yeah. So this is hydrostatic technology, and basically it treats the water going through the hydrostatic coil. So these, the red things, is what that is there, um, and how you've done it is a little bit different than how. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, all we got. Um, where we situate it to where the house is and the ball and, and where we use our water. And basically there's a big tree that this, this tank feeds. So we pump up from the ball, which goes through to the tank. And then basically from the tank, it, feel, it got, travels its way back down through gravity and, and feeds everything down there. So basically what this does um, normally they set it up where it treats it as it's going out, but what we're doing is we're getting the double done. So it comes in, we fill up the tank, it gets treated, and then on its way back down the road to go to all the uh, bits and bobs, all the ta taps and that, it gets treated again. So, there are, to answer a few technical questions, or like questions that we've been asked, this model here cost us... Four and a half grand. Four and a half. Four and a half K for a 25 mil, right? Um, they've, got a, they've got a system that's smaller, 20, but it goes basically 20, 25, and it starts getting into the bigger, the industrial. bigger ranges, industrial ranges where they use for mining, uh, vineyards, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. But then, so we also paid a little bit as well for plumbing, plumbing yeah. bits, so, you know, Bunnings, Staff discount. So part, part of the deal too, we could have um, brought their range. So basically this system can be run on um, 12 volt systems and 240 because it draws such minimal power. Um, and now we're going to sell us a solar unit uh, kit, battery kit, um, which I think was an additional 300 and something dollars. But we already had all that. So right? yeah, so basically we made this little Great. job up here. So we've got so basically all two volt batteries, 415 volt, uh, got a little inverter there up on the wall and then and then um, we've got our, oh, what would you call it, controller to convert um, from our solar panels into the batteries. So yeah, that's about it. Um, how long do you think it, like we did the shed, like we went on um, Facebook Marketplace, oh, free shed found free. a free shed that someone was wanting to chuck out. Um, just a little bit of effort um, and fuel to get down there, I guess. Brocky helped take it all apart uh, and we, we, we put it back together. It's been repurposed. We concreted the floor in because it means that structurally this shed is quite sound and it won't, we have quite severe winds here. So we wanted to make sure that it was, you know, going to be secure. It was going to house it. It was going to keep it protected and out of the sun and all that sort of stuff, um, including the batteries. You don't want batteries sitting around in, in the open air. So um, this is actually a lot bigger than you'd ever need for a Hydro Smart, as you can see. But That's if you have storage. a look around, you'll see like Alex has put the cement mixer in here and things like that. It's great. We can use it for storage. We could, if we were going to feed 
animals up here, whatever, we could use this for storage. Um, as it stands, we probably won't. But one of the biggest things I love about it, and um, it's something that's really close to our hearts, is using, if we can, first and foremost, Australian made. Yeah. Always. It's like one of the biggest things that when we're doing our assessment on what we want, uh, if we can get it in Australia, we'll get it in Australia. If it's not technology we have yet, we, we're going to have to go elsewhere. But we like to support local and we like to support Australian made. And the company, you know, they were created here, just like Flowhive. We're a massive fan of the Flowhive. Yeah. And, um, you know, we got, we got our first Flowhive, in fact, way back when it was crowdfunded and they hadn't even really started the business yet. It was just an idea. Um, that's how we got the... Well, that's how it got us going. That's what started the whole thing. Yeah. So that's what started us with bees. But, and the same thing with HydroSmart. This is not a paid promotion, by the way. I haven't even asked HydroSmart yeah. to, to support us. We just believe in the technology and we believe in the company. Well, like what they said, so basically with this water, once it's treated, it, it descales. Yeah. And, and boy, did it ever. Yeah, it descales and like, listen, we're still, it's still new. It's still something that we're trolling. It's, listen, it's giving us results. It's giving us results, but also some things have happened, and that's what I did say I was going to talk about. Yeah. Some things have happened that we didn't bank on. So we set up the house. So we're going to set up the house for bore and then have rainwater purely just for drinking. Yes, because we're wholly reliant on our rainwater. And as you guys know, if you don't already, go back to, I don't know, a few videos ago. I'll link it below. We bought rainwater tanks from our old property over here. Uh, we are trying to become more and more water self-reliant. Um, this is another reason why we did this, but um, so what it did do, which was really positive, was descale. Uh, and that's a double-edged sword. So while it was positive in some respects, it was a little bit of a negative for us in others. Tap started leaking, it was just kind. So um, <laughs> scale and line build up uh, over a long period of time, because the house that we um, are living in, I, I was told was built in the 40s. Really? Yeah, yeah long, nice. long, long time ago. So the solar hot water system on the roof is really old as well. In fact, we've put money aside to buy a new one because we kind of expect it might break at some point. It's hanging in there though. It's hanging in there. Hanging but in what there. we did notice, which was a negative for us, but if you're aware of it, it might not be for you guys, is that um, the first few, well, I'll say probably 10 odd baths and showers with the Hydro Smart going, it descaled so beautifully that the water started coming in green. green. Blues and greens. And yeah, like, you know, the colour that copper goes when it's breaking down. Yeah. So I think it cleaned all the scale off all the pipes and on the inside of the hot water system. And, and yeah. A change in fittings too, so like taps started leaking. Yeah. I, so flew, I flew out and, and yeah, we all had a bit of a... Well, there. lucky I sort of went, oh, I don't want to wait for something to go wrong. Let's just switch back to rainwater until we get a chance to work it out. Thank goodness we did, because I literally dropped him at the airport, I got home, and I couldn't turn one of my taps off. It just kept turning and kept turning and kept, and the border kept pouring. I was like, oh my gosh, we've worn through something here. So another thing was the very first load of washing that I did with the bore water that had been treated with the Hydro Smart, it descaled and cleaned my washing machine back to a brand newie. The water that came out of it was the grossest thing you've ever seen. I wish I had captured it for you guys. It was disgusting. Uh, but now, actually, that was the positive. My washing machine works amazing. The clothes yeah. coming out way cleaner. So that was one of the so positives. So still playing with it. We're going to send some water away to get tested um, just to see what's, what, what's actually going on. That's something that you want to do first, guys. Yeah, or have no. a baseline study. <laughs> Yep. I didn't get a chance to do that. I should have done well, we that. We did test the water. Oh, with a tester, but sending it away to get what fully mineral, analyzed. Yeah, minerals, any nasties in your ground, or yep. you know, if there is any, and that way it gives a bit of peace of mind as well. What you what you're sharing in. Yeah, but all in all, um, <laughs> our veg, our fruit trees and veggies and things like that are still growing. They're still doing really well, so, um, and I don't think that would be the case with just the ball water by itself. Yeah. Um, my cows have gained condition beautifully. If you go back to when we first got here, within a month or so of being here, 
my cows lost condition really quite bad and we were like what's going on like their food's great like they're getting everything they need the mineral licks are there the hay's great the the, the pasture is beautiful um we actually i actually put it down to i think the bull water yeah. so cattle it's okay for cattle to drink 22 uh, sorry 2300 pounds yeah up to about 3000 but but being a dairy cow and and the dairy cow gets stripped out of like milk every morning um i i believe strongly that they need it a little bit cleaner uh, and in fact that has been proven by having this they have beautifully great gave their condition back. They're yeah. shiny, their hair's amazing, um, they're fat and, and doing really, really well. So from that perspective, it's awesome. Uh, chickens can't really drink salty water. They need rainwater. Yeah. They're very sensitive. So uh, the Hydro Smart, they seem to be thriving on that. And we've even got little chicks growing on it and doing beautifully as well. Yeah, guys. Well, so <laughs> that's one thing I do want to say to you guys. I don't know if we've done it justice telling you how it works, but I remember the gentleman that we spoke to, I think he was one of the designers. Yeah. He's been with the company for 20 years, and I think it actually is his baby. I think it's yeah. his business. Yeah. He was so amazing and so generous with his time. He gave us all of the, yeah. the answers that we, we had um, questions for. He, he sent us all of the information and all the testimonials from previous clients and all that sort of stuff. So I didn't even get all the way through that information. There was so much of it. Uh, and the science stuff loses me a bit. I'm a hands-on kind of girl. I mean, look, he started talking and he just lost me. <laughs> but, but he does have some incredible science to back it up. Yeah. So I am going to share all of that. I've got links to everything below here. Um, I know this video was a bit of a, a mash of videos. Um, we did the we did, <laughs> we did the Hydro Smart video and we've merged it with the cool room um, meat processing room video. Uh, we hope you enjoyed it. It's the first time Alex has really got onto a video um, substantially anyway, so I know I enjoyed it. Try. But yeah, show him some love guys. If you want to keep seeing Alex do things, I do. I want to, because I don't do the technical stuff. This is all like blur to me. I don't even know. But yeah, nah, he got up here and did it. So if you guys want to see him do some more of those, please comment below, share, give him a love heart, like it, share it on your Facebook or something, and I'm sure he'll see it, even tag him in it. That'd be great. Yeah. But thank you so much for joining us. We hope it answered some questions. And, and also, if you are searching for a solution to maybe the similar problem to what we had, Give it a go, and you know what? Don't well, even. Well, if you know something a bit more, let us know. Yeah, if you know more information about yeah. it, we love that. Yeah. But or if you've got one and you find it working well or not so well, let us know that too. We want to know everything we can possibly yeah. know. But also, if it is something that you're considering, definitely give the guy a ring. You ask all your questions. He's a great bloke. Yeah. The case uh, study I found the most interesting, and if you're going to throw up all the information, was that new, that New Zealand one where they grew lettuces. Lettuce in 6,000 parts per million salt. And yeah, lettuce is a very touchy, if you're a gardener. <laughs> very touchy, touchy. <laughs> you're, you're, well, the guy was already obviously seasoning his lettuce while it was growing. <laughs> and I don't know how it grew. So, yeah, yeah very yeah. compelling studies. I remember reading yeah. even the Even the water, you know, like a lot of your troughs that are out in paddocks and that, they get a lot of scum build up. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, and so we've got, We've got one that we see constipated, we call it, but it's where the bulls are at the moment. Yeah. When you... No, all fresh. Nothing. No. So, um, we... Especially this time of year, where it's warm and... When yeah. we first got here, we were cleaning out big, long algae monsters out of yeah. all of the troughs. And it will be interesting to know that one across the road. And I will keep you guys posted. I'm going to take you guys to see a few of the um, troughs. And we'll actually see the one across in Meadow. Yeah had big algae trees growing in it. So if they're dead and there's nothing in there, that'd be I magic. Up, I haven't been up close, but you can just see it. It's shiny. Yeah. So that's our experience with it, guys. We hope that that helps you guys. We will talk more about it, you know, as things pop up in gardening and that sort of stuff. Um, yeah, so we hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give us a big thumbs up. Uh, share it with your friends if you think it'll help them. And if you haven't already, Subscribe, like, like it, and give Alex a heart in the comments. He'll love it. You read the comments, don't you, babe? 
Yeah. You know he does. He does. He's just shy. Thanks so much for joining us, guys. We hope you enjoyed it. And until the next video, take care. Bye for now.